So this is the heat bed, it's put together, um, 100k thermistor, just in between, probably just halfway in between the two heating pads. These are 600 watt silicon heating pads, 400 by 400, 230 volt, four of them to give us uh, 2.4 kilowatts for the whole bed. Um, recycled, so the, the bed itself is a 6 millimeter uh, plate, 1200 by 1200 straight aluminium and I've used some recycled uh, right angle 6 mil right angle I think it's 50 by 100 just for the uh, just to, to strengthen up and keep the the uh, base from warping when it gets hot I'll just keep it float anyway um, a couple of brackets just four brackets just for mounting onto the printer and I'll be able to vary the height on those just to make sure everything's sort of square so I've got to put, uh, when it goes onto the bed, onto, sorry, onto the base of the printer, I'll just put some um, insulation wool, quite a nice thick layer of insulation wool, so it shouldn't have any heat go down. And that's it, ready to put on. So here we have the um, finished extruder, finally, and it's got, um, it's got a 1.2mm nozzle and a double volcano uh, setup so these are sort of this is like a volcano setup it's just designed for high extrusion rates and I've actually doubled that again so because we've got such a huge nozzle 1.2 uh, the plastic's going to be feeding down down this barrel really quickly so it needs quite a bit uh, quite a bit of length to get it uh, heated through to allow the heat to conduct through the plastic to get it molten by the time it hits the tip uh, standard, well, it's actually a modified um, E3V6 extruder, so it's a really heavy duty one. And I've got the design up on Thingiverse for that. The, um, what else is there to say? So this plate is sort of an adapter plate, well, it's just a standard plate that'll mount on my 3D printer. And I'll be able to mount a double extruder setup later. So this is just sort of a trial just to see how it works. Um, I've got a proximity sensor there, 8mm, sensors at 8mm, and it's a couple, it's probably about a 5 or 6 mils above the nozzle um, nozzle depth there. Nice big fan, we'll run it at 5 volts, otherwise it runs it uh, runs far too hard, it's like out of a 1U server. Um, all the uh, connector blocks here for connecting motor, heater, Um, the Mr. Proximity Sensor and Fan. There's also some fiber washers here and a and a 6mm threaded rod. This is actually to help to uh, support this head assembly. If I did ha didn't have that in place um, and the printer knocked, got a knock on the nozzle, which happens sometimes if you've got ABS warping or some other problem, uh, it would just snap off the snap off the whole head assembly at the the point where the the head assembly goes into the um, heatsink barrel it's just really thin there so this just helps to support it and the fiber washers are there to insulate the heat away from this threaded rod and stop it stop too much heat going into this back plate and I still need to put a bit of insulation on the other thing to mention also is it's got uh, two heaters on here two uh, 40 watt heaters so it'll be around 80 watts of, of uh, heating power Again, to get that um, to get that plastic heated heated pretty quickly. We've um, now got the um, extruder mounted, so it's uh, ready to ready to get wired up. So we've also put on um, some cable management here, just some more bell strad, and I'm going to have to put a probably put a little bungee up to hold this out of the way of the printer when it's printing. And so this is. I've also tightened up all the bearings so it shouldn't be any more vibration. The other thing I've still got to do is also put on this um, solid state relay and it's on a massive heatsink, just something I had handy lying around. It doesn't need to be that big. And it's only going to be drawing 10 amps so that's actually a 25 amp module. So it's 25 amp, 230 volts output, um, 3 to 32 volts DC input. So that'll, that'll control the heat bed. It'll switch 10 amps into the into the heat bed, 240 watts. 
that'll go on the side of the printer. And so hopefully, probably only another week or two away from getting this thing running. And it'll be really, can't wait to see it actually doing something.